Hey everybody. Alright, well today basically what you need to do is get your paracord to look just like this. If you're un unsure how to get to this point with the cow's hitch and fusing two sections of paracord together, um, please refer to the basic Solomon um, video that I've got that will show you how to do the cow's hitch and get everything set up to how it looks like right now and it'll help you on further videos that I do. Um, but we're going to do today a variation of the fishtail bracelet, which is this guy right here. And uh, this is something I came up with last night, just kind of messing around, like kind of do with quite a few of the ones that I haven't seen before. And like I always say, I, I, I actually did a lot of research on this one, to, just to make sure that no, nobody else had done this one. Looked through pictures, videos, websites, couldn't find this variation. So. Like I always say, if you see this somewhere else, please let me know. I'll get the name changed. I'll give credit to the, the person who designed it. Um, but I'm going to call this bar the barbed wire bracelet. So the first thing we need to do is pull our paracord through the center. So we're going to take the right side through the center, and we're going to take the left side through the center. So now we have kind of a loop going on that goes right down through the center. Okay. Now we're going to cross. And what I mean by crossing is all we're doing is all we're doing is basically we've got a cross that goes down through the center. Let me zoom in on that for you so you can see what we got here. There you go. So now we have the black is coming off the right side. We got the Tar Heel blue coming off the left. And in order to keep this one nice and tight and getting away from getting away from you, um, use your thumb to hold everything down. Okay, so to get started now, take the right side, go over the first cord, being the blue, go down through the center and under the black cord. All right. And then you can pull pull your black through there to tighten it up and push up toward the buckle. That'll get it right up close to the buckle. And you're going to try and do that every after every step. Now take your blue one, do the same thing. Go over top the first one, through the middle and underneath of the second cord. And do the same thing. Pull tight, push up. There we go. And by doing that, that keeps everything nice and tight, nice and uniform. And we're going to do the same thing again. Over the top, down through the middle, and under the second one. Okay. And then, now, the way that you know which one is next is if you do this right, when you take your the one through, it should end up on the bottom. So you're just going to use the, the top one every time you come back over to that side. So over, under, through, and then go ahead and pull everything tight, and cinch it on up. Very important to keep this one tight as you go. That's how you get a nice uniform look. Okay, now this is the variation. So what we're going to do is take the right side, and we're just going to loop it around that right cord. Just like that. We're just going to make a loop right around it. So you're going to go down, you're going to go over top and then down through and out the back and back to the right side. You're going to do the same thing with the left. So you're going to go over, through, and under. And then pinch everything together with your thumbs while you pull everything through. Otherwise you're going to end up with a big mess. There we go. And then just make sure this is all tight. And then we're going to do another fishtail. So back to step one. Go over, under, and through. Now take your blue one because that's next, it's on top. Go over, under, and through. Okay. Now 
this is where I want to zoom in on this and show you why I call it barbed wire. Basically you can kind of see barbed wire usually has kind of a loop like this you know with one spike going that way one spike going that way that's that's why I, why I call this one barbed wire but that's the variation so you're just going to do that on every step after the fishtail so we just did a fishtail now we're going to do the variation so loop it around your right side loop it around the left side don't forget to pinch it before you pull it through push everything up and then do your fishtail so it's going to go variation fishtail variation fishtail all the way down so over under and through left side over under and through hold on to your middle two pieces your middle two uh, cords right here push up kind of roll these roll these towards the center pull it tight that's going to keep whoa that wasn't good it's going to keep everything nice and locked in there but uh, if you do this right you should end up with basically two sections of black on here then two sections of blue and it's equal on the other side just opposite that should give you enough instruction to do the rest of the bracelet on your own um, leave a little bit of room at the end because we're going to have to do this uh, we're probably going to have to do a, a different knot at the end to tighten it up but I will show you how to do that I'm going to finish up this bracelet and I'll come back and I will show you how to finish okay, it okay so I'm down to the bottom here I just want to get a little closer in here for you so that you can see that what I've done already is I've already done the variation step putting the two loops in so now I just need to go down through the middle so over under through to finish this up with a fishtail and then I'm going to ultimately finish it with a Solomon um, just so I can get the knot real nice and tight if I try and finish it with doing the fishtail here it's just not I just can't get it tight enough um, so I'm just going to finish this up just like that try and keep you in, in frame here okay so now you can kind of see right here this blue one is a little fat so what I want to do is I want to try and twist this around and through ultimately getting over here and then twist this one around until I get all that slack out of there now you can see it's nice and parallel with the rest of them okay so to do the Salomon real easy take the right side go over the top but leave a little leave a loop over here okay now take, here we'll pull the excess through, now take your left side, go over the, the right side, go behind the back, and bring it up through this loop. And then pull this tight. And you need to pull pretty hard to get that pulled nice and tight. Alright, so there's basic the basic bracelet. R really reminds me of barbed wire. So. Um, also, one other thing I wanted to show you too, if we get real close in here, what you could do is you could use some nuts like this, and you could actually place, see it might be kind of hard to see, but there's actually holes here. You could place one of these nuts, you know, you'd have to string both colors through there, but you could put these right along the whole bracelet, you know, one here, maybe skip one, put one here, skip one, put one there. Just an idea. You, if you have some charms, that would be a good one to put some charms into. Um, my buddy Larry sent me some stuff that I just got in the mail today. And I'm going to end up making a charm bracelet out of it. Uh, he asked me to do that, so I'm going to go ahead and do that this weekend for him. Alright, so now we're just going to snip the ends right where they come through the Solomon. Use the low part of the flame melt that end and what I've been doing recently with these ends is using my scissors because the scissors are nice and cold and they're nice and flat too so that'll keep it uh, from sticking to the side of my lighter like these have 
because when this heats up, the paracord sticks to it, and inevitably, it uh, it does get hot because that's where the flame is. And yeah, we we'll just do the same thing on the other side. Try not to burn yourself. Doing paracord every day. I've definitely burnt myself a few times. The worst is when the paracord is liquefied because of the flame. And then you forget about it and you go and stick your finger in it. That's real fun. There we go. Just give it a nice rocking motion. Give you a nice smooth edge there. It doesn't hurt your skin. But uh, there we have it. That is what I call the barbed wire bracelet. It's a really cool looking bracelet. I really like that. And you can see that it is still the fishtail design. Just has the variation with the holes in, down the center. Now what you could also do is, is you could also stitch some, some uh, other color down through there. Maybe if you had some red or some yellow on this one it would look good. Just go under and over and under and over until you get to the other side. Uh, but there you have it. That is the Barbed Wire. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and I did change uh, something with the buckles on the site. You can now purchase in big quantities and save a lot of money on your buckles. If you do it through the BoardParacord.com website, you can get 20... It's in 5, 10, 20, and 50 different quantities, um, but you can save a lot of money on your buckles that way. Thanks again for watching.